Hey, what's going on guys? Dope Swarner here, and I am making this video to announce that I am breaking down my CNC machine, and I am going to basically be ripping out the stepper motors, um, taking the belts, and basically demolishing all of the printed parts, and the wood, and everything else, um, which is kind of bittersweet. Um, I've had this thing probably for six-ish months now, and it was the biggest, most intense project I have ever worked on uh, that basically combined electronics. Uh, it was my first time working with like a Rams Arduino board. Um, there was 3D printed stuff. There was a little bit of woodwork involved. Um, so it was definitely a crazy project that I didn't think I'd actually be able to accomplish. I gave up and was very frustrated and had to go back to the drawing board and send a lot of emails and definitely was the most intense project I ever worked on. However, I basically decided, I should probably turn so we can see in the background. Let me do that. So I basically decided though that, you know what, the light, that's not going to be good at all. I basically decided that I don't have room. Um, I don't use it. I've never actually used it since I built it. I did a couple testing out um, uh, sketches with a pen or pencil, uh, but my goal was to do case mods with it, which is still sounds awesome. I still wanted to do. However, if you look at my room, now that especially I've got a queen size, I went from a twin size to a queen size, it is a clusterfuck. And it is extremely difficult to maneuver even through my room. My desk has got the 3D printer on this side, the CNC machine on that side. At least this gets used, this gets love. I can see a reason for keeping it here. Um, but the CNC machine on the other hand, it's like right in between my bed and my desk. And I constantly trip on it, like the cable's hanging, I kick hit my knee on it, my arm on it, it's just, it's gotta go. And so, again, I'm gonna be using some of the stuff, like um, the drivers for the stepper motors, the stepper motors, the belts, some of the bearings probably, um, and the like the boards, the uh, Arduino and the ramps board, for another project that I will be announcing very shortly here, um, maybe even tomorrow or the next day, you'll, you'll see, either way. Um, but yeah, so that's gonna happen. So I just basically wanna let you guys know that the CNC machine is going by and I feel like it deserved a video because of just how crazy this project and this beast of a machine was. So I took some photos of it that way um, people can look back on it because I don't think I ever took like detailed photos even though it's not that detailed I just took a couple different angles but uh, that way if anyone kind of wants to take see some looks at it um, also I'll link in the description if you do want to build one of these bad boys for yourself you can do so so I'll place a link in the description um, and I'll just kind of show you guys one more time around it um, I actually already this, this is it I mean like I'm saying literally you go in my room the door is right there you got this queen size bed this is the only room you have to get by look at that and that's the CNC machine getting rid of it granted won't fix that however it's just so easy to like hit this or hit just the corner of it on your elbow or something. So, <laughs> but anyways, this is the uh, box right here that held the electronics for it, um, which is now hollow. You just got the ends for the stepper motors in there. I already ripped out the electronics. Um, again, the wood, I'm basically just gonna tear down. It's all just two by four, so I'll probably unscrew it and I don't know, use it for firewood or something like that. Um, we've got the, you know, it goes basically X and Y. And up and down, it's got this um, basically spiral rod that raises and lowers the head. Um, you know, this is basically the contraption on the side that maneuvers it. You've got the stepper motor with the belt that's fed over this gear right here. And so basically as this turns, it causes the, you know, it causes the, uh, I guess, axis to move. So this is it. Um, so... I'd say, you know, let's take a moment to say farewell to the CNC machine, but its soul will live on because, again, I'm using its core electronics and components for another project that is pretty badass. And uh, without spoiling any more until I am ready, ready to announce in the next couple days here, um, I will end the video on that note. I hope you all are doing fantastic and are ready to see a lot more projects because I've definitely got a lot up my sleeve and I'm really excited to share that with you guys. So on that note, I'll end the video. Dope Swanner, and I am out. Peace, guys.